Jr. hits it into deep left field and gone. He has driven in three tonight. And now he's a double shy of hitting for this. But he'll make mistakes with it. That's what you wait for. That is drilled to deep left field, and the Royals have two home runs in the top of the first inning. And that's hit well. Deep left center field. Gone for his first big league home run. Look at his teammates, look at his smile. He has hit himself a big league tater. That's beautiful. Congratulations, Bobby Witt Jr. First in his career. Hopefully it's a long one. Man, look at he golfed that. Kinsner was gonna catch that ball on the ground. This is nice right here. I didn't realize he went down and got it. Boy, that's that is a big league swing and a big league homer. Now watch what happens afterwards. The fans don't get it. Bader doesn't understand that's his first big league home run, so he throws it into the fountain. Oh, no. Look at the fans. They're all going, no, what do he do? They retrieved it. Junior hits a line drive into deep left field, and that is gone. That's his first hit. The Royals' fourth hit. Second home run. And that's Junior's second of the year. It is 9-4. Who had two of the three walks. And he hits this ball a ton to left, and he has hit another homer. He and Whit Merrifield have homered twice in this series, the third career home run for Whit Jr. The Royals, who came into this series rather light in the big fly department hit a well hit deep left center field and junior has gone deep and the Royals lead 2-1 in the third inning Bobby Wood Jr. has a chance to drive in a run or runs and put an end to the Royals 16 inning scoreless streak which goes back to Tuesday night in Cleveland and he will wow. and then some and that is into the water for a three-run home run. So that'll give the fans something to cheer about tonight. How about a cookie? Right there, great swing, right on him. He tagged it, and that was a pretty fur piece there. Good distance on that baby. Yeah. And you know, the closest to a, a swung on gone trot that he started out after home plate, he still ran hard. I mean, he didn't want to show anybody up, but he knew he got that one. Obviously, the conversation was between the two, and Bobby gets into one here and hammers it deep to left and hits home run at number eight this year. Right on cue. Talking about excellence, and he hammers it out. Yeah, and you know, they were talking about how he, Junior, hasn't even scratched the surface offensively what he's going to be like. This is pitch number 10, and it's hit in the air, right center field oh. and deep. Trout is at the wall, and no ruling yet. They're going to call it a home run. Absolutely. Second base umpire Andy Fletcher took a look at it. The Angels will probably want to review and see if there was fan interference. But for now, it's Bobby Wood Jr.'s ninth home run of the year. Oh, like I said, you foul off those balls like that, you're on. You're, you're getting to lock him in, and he found the pitch he wanted. That is a Mike Trout-esque home run right there, led with his bottom hand. Well hit center field. Trout goes back, all the way back, and it's gone! Oh, Bobby Witt Jr. has driven in four tonight with his second home run of the night, and the Royals will take a three-run lead at least into the bottom of the ninth. <laughs> Stay hot in that side of the ballpark. That was beautiful. Another bottom hand lead, top hand follow, homer. Fly out to right for Witt, his first time up today. 31 of his 62 hits have been extra base hits. And he will be adding to that total. Oh, you better believe it. 
Ooh. Boy, he jumped on that one high in the air, deep to left. Kemp is back and leaping at the wall, but it's gone. Home run number 11 for Bobby Witt. Yeah, you know, he hit that ball pretty well because that, that wind today at the K is blowing from the left field foul pole to the right, so it kind of cut through the wind here. That's a bit pitch down and in at 91. And he was able to get extended on that one. And that, he hit it high in the air, but he had backspin on it. That was the key. When you hit him that high, he caught that ball to, at a really good spot on the baseball. And Kemp, nice try. Five foot eight. He got up over that wall. Good athlete. Close to 34,000 on the 4th of July. One, two, and a swing, and a ball well hit. Deep left center. That's way back and gone. A two-run homer for Bobby Witt Jr. And the Royals retake the lead. It's 4-2. to two. He hit that a long way. The only thing that stopped it is that very high wall out there. They've got a high threshold in terms of the height to hit a home run out to that part of the ballpark. He hit it well above the yellow line. And the ball bounced back onto the field. It was a fat pitch. It was a fastball. About thigh high inner half and Bobby crushed it. 110 miles an hour off the bat. That's his 12th home run. RBI's 41 and 42. He has driven in three of the Royals four runs tonight. And the Royals. Now Junior deep into left field and gone. Bobby Witt Junior gives the Royals a 2 nothing lead in the fifth inning. Now Junior. Deep into left field and gone. Bobby Witt Jr. gives the Royals a 2 0 lead in the fifth inning. Right there, fastball in. Look at the barrel. Short to the ball. Caught at the, the back underside. Backspin carry. Beauty. 13th big fly in the home in his major league career. That was a line shot. That ball wouldn't walk it. Junior. Whoa. Might do the same thing. Man. Get up into that win. And gone. And the Royals have three in the bottom of the eighth.